Hello, welcome to SoundersFC.com. Ross Fletcher with you for another CenturyLink scouting report. It's the final regular season meeting of 2014 with San Jose Earthquakes. It's only, what, three weeks since the previous meeting? That day, San Jose managed to eke out a 1-0 win thanks to Yannick Jallo's goal in front of nearly 50,000 in the brand new Levi Stadium. This, of course, is back at CenturyLink Field where the Sounders won back in May 1-0 thanks to a spectacular goal from Oberfemi Martins. He'll be back for the Sounders from suspension, but of course we're here to talk about the earthquakes and what they have. Now, when we were last talking about San Jose, in the second meeting of the teams, they'd just signed Matias Garcia Perez, the left-footed, creative, attacking midfielder from Argentina. He didn't play against the Sounders, but now he's in the groove. Look out for him. He's got an absolutely sweet left foot. He displayed it on his debut, no less. A thundering strike in a 2-2 draw against LA Galaxy. So he looks to have that goal-scoring prowess in his locker. But really, he's been brought in to change the way San Jose play, to bring their more possession-orientated style to the fore and move away from the old Bash brothers, the more direct physical approach with Steven Lenhart and Alan Gordon up front. Alan Gordon's been traded since uh, the Sounders last played San Jose. He's gone to LA. Steven Lenhart has had knee surgery, so he's out. So look for Matias Garcia Perez to combine with Chris Wondolowski. He, of course, is one of the premier strikers in Major League Soccer. Eight goals this year in a truncated campaign because he was away with the national team at the World Cup. But those eight goals are not quite enough for the team. The next nearest scorer has hit three, and that really has been the problem for San Jose and why coming into this game, they're nine points off the playoff places down in eighth place in the Western Conference. They'll be absolutely desperate for the points. Seattle have to lock down Wondolowski and Matias Garcia Perez. They don't have to worry so much about Yannick Jallo, the guy who scored the winner a couple of weeks ago against Seattle. He's been injured since, was carried off in that game, but that dynamic pace they've lost a little of. At the back, they need to shore things up for certain. Their most recent game was a humbling club record 5-0 defeat to an FC Dallas side who are really on the tear. That day, San Jose just didn't pick up their runners and their midfield and defense seem to have no communication at all. They certainly need to tighten things up there. But as I mentioned, they'll come in very, very hungry for the points. Last year, they made a terrific run to get towards the fringes of the playoffs, missing out on the final day purely on a tiebreaker. So can they pull it together? at CenturyLink Field. We will see. It could be a fascinating occasion. Be with us 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. We'll have coverage on Joe TV, myself and Casey Keller on the call, also on 97.3 Cairo FM. I'm Ross Fletcher. That's your CenturyLink Scouting Report here on soundersfc.com.